Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Twitch AD Carry. And this is a champion that, well, I have a lot of faith in. I have a lot of faith in for him being a fantastic champion. And a lot of people do love this champion because he's so commonly seen as such a massive hyper carry, right? You always see Twitch like top of the win rate leaderboards, or you always. When you're against the Twitch, he'll get his two items and your entire team just instantly dies when you blink. And it's like, what the hell just happened? But a lot of people still, straight up, I'll say it straight up, a lot of people cannot play this champion effectively. They struggle with it. And that's... Oh, you know, every single time I play Twitch, there's just a little part of me that hopes I'm going to steal the buff. But anyways. Um... Twitch, though, as a champion, we actually missed the first minion's worth of experience, so we're going to be super behind experience-wise. Uh, but Twitch as a champion is a very unique AD carry. Incredibly unique AD carry. Because he's, well, quite literally the only AD carry that you play like an assassin. If you play Twitch, you are playing an AD carry, yes. But his other role is actually completely an assassin. And it's very very odd for quite a few people to wrap their minds around. Anyways, as we are laying against a Braum in a vein, this shouldn't really be a lane that's hard, but it's not a lane that we're going to win. Twitch, as a champion, doesn't really win lane, um, unless your support is making plays or your jungler is having a massive impact in your lane. But as a champion, Twitch just, he isn't a lane winner. And that's, that's fine. All you do in, when you're laning, is I'll be showing it to you guys if the opportunity arises, but right now they're pretty much just letting me keep auto attacking to farm, and that's well what we should be doing. Unless she steps up too close like that, I force her to reposition to miss some of these mains. I'm gonna auto that one so he can get it. There you go. Because if I didn't auto it there, it would have gone under the turret, and we may have missed it. But I think when you're playing Twitch, you'll find yourself using Venom Cask, your W. Even more than your actual Contaminate, because your E is, yeah, it does damage, but outside of when you have four or more stacks, it really doesn't do much damage at all. Um, so once again, throw that Venom Cask behind her. Gonna make her miss more minions just by doing that. And we'll go ahead and drop this auto attack. Braum is gonna get all up in my face. This is good. This is good. That was a really good play on... Um, Thresh this part, so good job on that. We will be able to get a lot of damage off on them for nothing. And there goes the Q. I'm going to actually oh, not miss that minion. I thought I was going to miss that one. And minion-wise, we are winning, so that's also good. She does have the Doran's shield, though, so another thing to keep in mind. And this is going to be a lot of damage off on him. I'm going to go ahead and use this heal right here. There goes his heal. I'm going to go ahead and flash forward and E right there. Get that auto attack. I'm Dude, this is two kills for the Twitch right here. You ain't getting out of this one, friend. Yep. You are not getting out of this one. Now, one thing to remember as Twitch, you guys just saw it there. If you're going against the Twitch, do not try and take extended trades against him. Take quick trades. Take small ones. Because due to the poison and the E, the stacking mechanics of your poison, Twitch will win those. He will win these all-ins if they go in too long and the enemy team plays it rather poorly. Now, Braum ran in early on me. He exhausted me early. He used his shield early. He did a lot of things rather wrong and focused everything on my Thresh. So, able to capitalize on that, push this under their tower. So, Vayne should miss actually a decent amount of those, or at least the experience of them. And we are going to go straight for Blade the Rune King. The build on Twitch is Blade the Rune King, Rune Ants Hurricane, Infinity Edge, and then just general AD carry after that. But that's the core build right there. Blade the Rune King, Rune Ants Hurricane, and Infinity Edge. After that, you can go things like Shiv, uh, Mercurial Scimitar, Phantom Dancer, Lord Dominix, if you need the armor penetration. Uh, if you don't, generally, Mercurial is your other option. You can go Guardian Angel if they have a lot of dive potential or big assassins that would be trying to kill you but generally if you're playing twitch somewhat properly you won't need the guardian angel because you play like an assassin and you force that way like after whoops i actually just misclicked a misleading but after an extent of time i actually don't want this under my tower right now because since we are stronger than the vein by a lot um 
and I know we are stronger than the Vayne by actually quite a lot, I want to be all up in this, and I know that- Oh, good hook, buddy! That's a dead Vayne. That's a dead Vayne! There's the Contaminate. This guy doesn't have his flash, so go ahead and use the ambush here once again just for the auto attack speed. And keep on walking with him and autoing him down. Nice job, Thresh. Beautifully done, my friend. And we'll be able to get this under the tower again. Thresh doing a wonderful job here. I don't even need to explain things I would be needing to do solo. So that's super good on his part. Getting great hooks there. This guy's beasting it. And now that I have gotten this under the turrets, I go roam. I'm level 6, they have a Lucian mid, they have a Squishy mid. Now watch this. As the champion I am, I can stealth for what, level 1, 10 seconds. That's, that's a lot of stealth at level 1 for nothing. And he's going to go down, I'm coming in for this guy. So there goes that, we coming in, the flash hook is going to come out. Here's the ultimate, and kaboom, one kill, two kills. Twitch is huge now. The assassin popping up, and we can actually... Get a lot of progress on mid tower off of that. So, 6 0 already. And look at all this. Now we make the mid laner miss stuff too. And with the eulogy of the miss right there, and Vayne being the only one bottom, she's not going to be pushing this out very quickly. And granted, Twitch isn't a very quick solo pusher, but look at the damage we get to do off to the mid turret just for nothing. We get to do this much to the mid turret for losing very little. We might take some tower damage. I don't think we'll actually lose the tower, though. I think we can actually get this. Yeah, we can definitely get this. Now, I could be using my Q here for the increased attack speed, but First Blood Tower Gold is going to go to our team. And I can actually afford the entire Blade of the Rune King now. So, just a little trick thing you can do with Twitch. You can recall while you're invisible. If you hit Q, then immediately hit B. You will be invisible while you recall. So, a little, a little quick tip there. But we get the full Blade of the Rune King, now we get boots, and we get a dagger for the increased attack speed. And now at this point, with Blade of the Rune King, this is where you can really start playing as an assassin. Generally, a lot of games, you might not be 6-0 at 8 minutes, but regardless, as long as you are even with your enemy laner, in almost every single situation, as soon as you get that Blade of the Rune King, you can sneak up on them and kill them with your ultimate. And we're going to see if I can do that right now. As far as each person you're trying to assassinate, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. I know Braum is gone, and I know Vayne is only powerful if she gets me against a wall. So let's go ahead and bust the Blather and King there and keep on autoing her down, and I'm not going to be able to get that. I actually messed up because I did not throw the Venom Cask down. I did not think I would need it, but all I used for that was my ultimate and my E. Well, and my Blather and King active. But she used her heal for that. So heal's gone from there. And had I positioned a more on this side to get closer to her, the issue would have arisen that she was level 6 and she could have, you know, knocked me into the wall and stunned me. Which, even though I'm huge, I still want to remember that I'm an AD carry. And even though I'm an AD carry assassin-ish, whatever you want to call me, I can still die even though I have 6 kills. Do not forget that. So many people play Twitch and they'll get early kills and they believe they're fucking invincible. Do not do that because that will be exactly how you lose the lead you've established over time. So, granted, that kill should have been easy. I just straight up didn't use my W, so that was my fault for being bad uh, more than anything. So we can actually win this. <laughs> Action... If I have my ultimate, I would definitely say we could. Without my ultimate, it's iffy. I have to flash the Brom ults if I want to do this. I'm going to flash out of this right now. Because my ultimate's not up for another little while. Just a couple seconds. Best bet I got, I can actually try and do this. Ugh, come on! Uh-oh. Wait, hang on. We can still do this. So I just run on him and drop that. Boop. That's going to get him down. Use the ambush here. He's dashing through it. I don't have mana, though. Mana, mana. I actually didn't even see the echo. I just saw the fourth one of them coming down. And honestly, I had a rather... Whoa! Shit! That's a kill, dude. No, it's not. 
That was a good flash on Lucian's part. I thought for sure that was a kill. But I chose not to use my W there, because had I used my W, would not have been able to use my Contaminate. So, I think I did the right thing. Unfortunately, the kill will still not go down for me, but I still believe I did the right thing. Either way, long, big fight there. And, well, we did come out on top of it, so that's good. And, hmm. This is still control warded, so I know that they don't have this here. What if I just... Okay, so Echo is still here. He doesn't have his ults. This is really iffy on Echo's part. <laughs> if he goes for this and then doesn't have his ultimate, chances are actually pretty good he'll die. So, he's backing off, making the right choice there. We need to push this out because I want to back. Now, whenever you are just trying to manage your waves, yeah... I could try and freeze it, right? I could try and freeze it and make Vayne come to me for minions. But I know Vayne was low, and I know she's scared of being dove, so she backed. You can, you know she, or at least you can have a very good idea that she probably backed there. So for me, I push that wave out, make her miss minions, go spend my money, and then come back to lane. Now, since we have already taken mid tower, but not bot tower, I want to stay bottom. And Thresh should want to stay bottom too because I'm so huge um, that all he needs to do is sit next to me and we two-man this tower down. Now, Ivern and Braum are both around the dragon. I should be able to just kill the Vayne faster than Braum can get back to this lane. Now, one thing you can do as Twitch is sneak around in your invisibility. They cannot just see you all over the place, so she doesn't know I'm in here. But Braum makes it a little scary, so I want to get out immediately. <laughs> Since Thresh is still completely abandoning me, my lead is irrelevant. Because they can actually dive me. Like, they can dive me. And that's not good. So, yep. Go ahead and see if I can blather and king him down. Thresh is totally fucking me right now. Like, my best option there, even though I'm 6-0, is to abandon the turret. And that's not good. That is not a good thing. That sucks so much. Just stay bot with me. Don't abandon me when I'm 6 Oh, <sighs> That's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> like, in a lot of AD carries, you can probably 2v1. Braum doesn't let you do that. His shield blocks so much of your damage that it just makes it so you can't 2v1. And because Thresh abandoned me for the last, like, 5 minutes... My best option was to actually leave the tower there. I shouldn't have stayed because they can just dive me like exactly how they did. Um, it was pretty clear it was coming, and I still just let it happen thinking that I would be able to defend the tower. But I know better, and I still fucked up. So, now since we've lost bot lane, I have to sit here and get this tower pushed. I have to push this. Either that, or I push this wave out and then go try and roam and help the team. Either way, my options are correct, and since they have left mid, I want to try and push this again. They are not immediately threatening the map, so I do not have to leave my lane. I know if they come down here, 2v2, we will win. Ivern is dead, so I know I'm even more safe, and I see Lucian on the map. Swain is the only other threat right now, and chances are pretty good since Swain lost his tower. What they would want to do is they would want to send Swain bottom to hold his tower while the enemy bot lane goes top to try and push ours. But they are not doing that. Braum has shown his face here. And Vayne is not here yet. So apparently he wants me to auto-attack him. That's a thing that Braum can do. If you stand behind him and then, you know, just let him auto-attack you. So there's the hook. He should not have used that there. He should not have used that there. We can actually still win this. Because I have my heal. Um, but I guess I didn't use my E. Or my Blazer and King. My bad. Completely my fault. So that hook was really bad. I should have backed off, personally. I needed to back off. I had to. And this kind of sucks right now. Because when he just hooks Braum for no reason, then we don't have the hook. And that means Vayne can go completely in with nothing stopping her. Not a single thing is going to stop her from doing, well, whatever she wants to do. So, using everything on the Braum there was, well, not everything, but obviously you hooked the Braum and that's the only thing stopping the Vayne. Vayne actually flashed forward at me. She flashed forward to get that Condemn off on me. So, I'm about to just completely abandon this Thresh because he's really either... <laughs> he wants to abandon the lane himself, and when he's here, he's not doing too good of stuff. But I know the best thing for me to do is actually to not abandon the lane. 
And while they have the Rift Herald up, obviously they're not going to be stopping us from doing this. The only person that could would be the Lucian, who was... Oh, wait, did, did Ivern solo Dragon? That's weird. This guy should be leaving now. Because since there's no one to threaten me at all, this is when he shouldn't be here. Um, so if, if he's down here with me, now it makes no sense. But we get this tower now, and we leave. Now I can finally start doing my thing. So it's important to understand generally what supports should be doing at certain times in the game as an AD carry. Because you can guess what the enemy support is going to be doing, right? In a lot of situations, if you understand what the supports should be doing, you can try and command your support to do the right thing as well, as also understanding where the enemy support is probably going to be, so you can try and plan around that. Either way, I have 1600 gold now. We get the scuttle crab, even though they just took the dragon, still gives vision in the river. And gets money off the map. I go get Runan's Hurricane now. And since I cannot afford anything else, I will just get a dagger to work towards my Berserker Greaves. And we will stealth out of base for the increased movement speed. And now I can start just playing like an assassin. Now, 1v1 in Vayne is going to be iffy. She has her heal back up because she used it way earlier when they dove me, remember? they or She used her heal right here when she dove me. So by the time I go try and fight her now, it's going to be back up. So if I try to assassinate her, I have to be ready to well really win it and if i play around her stun i should be able to now unfortunately she's going the crit build so if i get unlucky i will lose if she crits you know more often than not i will lose so literally if i just get unlucky i will not win it so the hook not going to land we're just going to back on out of this and that actually hit me so Woo! Thank you for the lantern. I was about to flash out of it, but good lantern from the Thresh. Sing his praises when he gets him. Gets some good damage off on the Daisy, or not the Daisy, the Ivern. Avoid the Brom Q, that way I don't get stunned up. And, oh shh. What the hell? All right, well he's gonna take a bunch of damage here. Ooh, this is a fight we want. Now I wait until I'm in the back, and now I come in with the ultimate. Throw the cast down right in the middle, and look at all this damage I get to do off to him. Drop this, throw the E down, boom! They are all dead. Every single one of them's dead. Four assists going down for me. That's good. Good, good, good. As long as you just play fights like that, even though you don't have your Infinity Edge or you don't have, you know, your second crit item, you don't have all your shit, if you have Rune Hands and you have Blade of the Rune King, just play it this way. You don't need to play like an assassin when they're not gonna let you. Because, well, if they're not going to be alone, then you can't really assassinate. <laughs> but, because of that, we get this inhibitor tower. We should be able to get the inhibitor as well. So that's good. Go to cast down and dissuade them from coming in. Avoid that. That's a <laughs> dead bane. Good hook right there. He's really trying to kill me for some reason. So, use the E, use the autos. We got the inhibitor. I'm completely fine still because I have both my summoner spells. And now, their blue is spawning in five seconds. I'm going to go get that. So, bot wave should be taken by, I'm assuming, whoever's going down there. And we'll drop the control ward to distract them and know that, well, there's nothing here. So, I'll see if I can kill this real quick. Maybe. He's just going to smite it, unfortunately. So, <laughs> Or he's just going to try and cook it, and I'll get it anyways. So, blue buff for me. And we go get BF sword. Because I can afford the BF Sword to work towards our Infinity Edge. Now Twitch is one of those AD carries that's mm, similar to Sivir in the regards that as soon as you hit three items, or is similar to other crit AD carries in the regards that as soon as you hit three items, if you play well, you can solo carry the entire game at that point. It doesn't even matter what the state of the game is in. If you hit three items, or if it's really, really, really bad, you might need four. But if you hit three items as a Twitch and get a good team fight, game's pretty over. <laughs> like, if you explode on people and just get that spray and pray off and just annihilate everyone, the game is pretty over. Now I see Yorick is getting ganked. I see there is nothing on the map that I can be doing other than maybe clearing jungle camps. So, since Yorick backed off, he saw the gank coming, I'm actually going to do exactly what I just said I can do. I'm going to go get jungle camps. Free money on the map that no one else is getting. So take it for yourself. Get yourself more bad. Get more money in the bank. 
Use the Q between each camp. You know, get movement speed, get attack speed when you come out of the stealth. And the dragon is up in a minute. We can do the Baron. He did put a Zerat portal down there. So someone's gonna wanna gonna wanna take that out. And Master Yi taking that, that's fine. And with mid inhibitor down, it will naturally be pushing because of the super minion. Zerat portal will have that down there. Thresh kinda being a dumbo and pushing with Zerat portal, I guess. Um, that's an interesting strategy. So they're just gonna come up here. And we're gonna have a fight. We should turn on this immediately. I'm gonna stealth out of this. Make sure I'm not in a bad spot. I'll wait here. And now I can go. So go in on her. Flash out of that root. Use the heal on him. Use the E. That's a lot of damage. Good stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Use the reset on my stealth to run it. This Lucian, he's gonna and dash out of here. We can actually just win off of this, though. Whoa! The flash! Boop, 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 boop. Look at this. Look at I'm outskilling him! Outskilled completely. So we played that fight very well. Flashed out of the Swain Root, healed the Echo. Vayne went hard for me, thinking I was going to get rooted. Did not happen, and that will be the end of the game. So good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry I couldn't show you guys more of the assassination potential of Twitch. But we did what we could, and pardon me? Okay, sure, whatever. Fucking lever buster, I guess. Anyways, yeah. That Lucian, wow, that Lucian did a lot of damage. Holy shit. But we did a lot of damage ourselves. Unfortunately, we got the early 6 and 0, right? We got the early 6 and 0. And then Thresh abandoned us for five minutes, so we couldn't take our own tower. In that time, the right thing for me to do, I kind of got a little salty and bished about it because I was kind of miffed about the whole, like, I'm huge, help me get this tower so I can roam thing. But what I should have done is realized that that's exactly what he was, like, that's what he was doing. I should have just left and roamed myself. The tower was gone. The only difference is that since I stayed bottom, I died with it. So that was completely my mistake for doing that at all i should have left i should have used my power because i was very strong i should have abused that um taken that around the map and really just dominated everyone if they're going to take my tower i'm going to take their map they i have to force them to come to me if i'm going to be that powerful and thresh is not going to be there so my mistakes on that one after our two deaths, we decided to do the right thing. We were able to get that tower because the Rift Herald went down mid. There was all the pressure mid. We got the tower, and then we grouped. That is what I, all I had to do. That's literally all I had to do. I had to farm, get my Rune Ants Hurricane, and the two-item power spike on Twitch, and group. And as soon as I grouped, you guys saw what I did. I positioned on the outside of the fight, waited for the enemy team to use a lot of their CC, and exploded in a very grand finale fashion. Using all of my damage, it doesn't really matter as much who you're shooting in a lot of cases obviously if you position yourself properly and make your spray and pray go through to hit priority targets that's best or if you can just hit priority targets that's best but as twitch you have such a long range with that ultimate on and your shots pierce so you can shoot damn near whoever you want and still do a lot of damage so shoot safely shoot true and obviously in the last fight i waited until they were all a little past me to the side there and Vayne came in. I saw Vayne and Swain, and that was it. I had a teammate next to me. I believe it was Echo after he ulted, and I exploded on that. Swain tried to root me. I flashed backwards out of it as Vayne tumbled forward to try and capitalize on the root to kill me. So flashing backwards and healing the Echo will try and keep him healthy, and I will be able to just keep on shooting to kill them all. Overall, we played that game very well outside of the two mistakes that I really told you, or told you guys about. The Well, both my deaths were mistakes. Those were my two big mistakes that I made that game. Other than that, pretty well played in all honesty. And if you guys did learn anything or enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to enjoy my public Discord or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, all four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!